In today's post, I'm gonna give you an exercise that I've been doing for a long time to protect the anterior compartment of the knee, the front of the knee against aggressive decelerations. Now the hardest type of deceleration on the knees and especially from hoopers is a toes pointed forward deceleration. So you see this a lot of times with that outside foot stop. If I can get some internal rotation, it actually decreases that stress to the front of the knee and it'll distribute some of the forces to the hip. But that toe pointed forward deceleration is very, very knee dominant and it produces a lot of shearing forces on the knee that hoopers just can't handle. And they end up getting some form of patellofemoral pain or patellar tendinopathy because of these decelerations. So a simple way to set up for this exercise is go light on your cable machine or you could even use a band. Just make sure it's pulling from low to high. All right, so I'm gonna start in a split stance. Left arm, I'm working my right leg. I'm gonna start by pulling my toes up and then I'm gonna come into it nice and slow. So I'm just here. Level one, I would stabilize this position for one to two seconds and just get that kind of isometric contraction get used to these forces to the anterior compartment of the knee that a lot of hoopers struggle with. Then from here, I'm just pushing back, right? So I'm going eccentric, couple seconds isometric, and then push back into my concentric. As you get better, we're gonna start to push a little more speed into the eccentric. So if I actually push off this left leg and bring some speed in, now I really gotta turn on those muscles Got to fire up the quad, lower leg muscles, intrinsic muscles of the feet. You'll feel the toes having to dig into the floor to stabilize. Now I'd hit my reps with the left hand and then I would actually switch to the right hand. So let's say I had six reps, I'll go six reps left hand, then I'll go six reps right hand. So by switching the hands, I'm changing the rotational forces. So anytime in a game, it's very rare that I would make this toe forward deceleration with no rotational components. So normally I'd be driving here, I might have a defender pushing me this way. I have a different type of rotation that I have to control for. So very rarely in basketball is it ever just linear. So we wanna work with those rotational components. So if I have the weight pulling me on this side of my body, now I'm having to control this way. If I switch it to this hand, now I'm controlling this way. We have to have the ability to keep that knee nice and stable even when we have these rotational forces. Uh, that's one of the key components to knee injury prevention. So typically on the reps, we'd go maybe five or six with each arm. So that's 10 to 12 each leg, anywhere from two to four sets. Impossible for me to give you accurate uh, sets and reps because it depends where you're at in the program, it depends what phase you're in. Now keep in mind in the Vert Code and the Vert Code Elite, we do a lot of base work and we have the foot training protocol where we really focus on training the foot, training the ankles, training the lower leg so that we can take a lot of stress off the knee. So it's more about what's going on at the hips and what's going on at the ankles and the feet that's gonna actually protect the knee. From there, once we get those things right, then the knee strength really starts to matter.